I think the greatest challenge uh, for the future is to uh, make sure that the university maintains its uh, culture of interaction between faculty and students, students among one another, and all of that related to the research mission of the university. I think universities worldwide are presently facing the problem that many students who enter universities, their, their families, want universities to provide a very quick way uh, to good salaries and all kinds of things that are certainly very worthwhile. But a university, in order to do its job on the long run and in order to maintain a vital atmosphere that is good for the country, needs uh, to have students who have broader interests than just uh, accomplishing uh, uh, a near-term goal. Well, I may not know enough about uh, uh, Turkey, uh, but I think there are two dangers uh, for academic freedom all over the world. One is uh, that uh, governments may try to restrict academic freedom, but for foundation universities that is less relevant. And in general, I think uh, governments usually hesitate before they uh, attempt that. However, there is another danger for uh, uh, academic freedom, and uh, that is political correctness, the view that students develop that they cannot dissent from what the majority of students agree with, and uh, uh, that is as dangerous in a way as uh, is uh, governmental regulation. And uh, I think uh, we uh, need to be always on our guard uh, to not let that uh, 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 spread too widely in the university. The, in a way, the advice I would give follows from my answer to the first question, and that is, to remember as you enter, uh, as they enter their undergraduate work or uh, graduate work, but mostly their undergraduate work, that this is an opportunity that will never come again. Here they have four years to do something that never later in life they will be able to do. And thus uh, to make the most use of it uh, uh, in a way uh, 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 where that, which makes it possible for them to broaden their education, to expose themselves to things they would normally not encounter. That is by far the single most important thing. And it is also important for young lawyers. Uh, lawyers need an education that goes beyond knowing the law. They need to have an understanding of the humanities, the social sciences, and uh, that is what law students, uh, like all other students, should be pursuing.